What is going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys another Warrior deck profile, seen since my first one. Uh, it's actually my most viewed video right now. I think it's got like 4,800 views or something. It's quite a lot for me. Uh, it's not in the millions or anything, but uh, thank you for watching it if you guys have watched it. Uh, and yeah, I'm, it's still increasing, so I'm guessing people really like uh, Warrior decks right now. Uh, I don't know why, I mean I do like Warriors, but... I thought I'd just make a new updated uh, warrior deck profile, so yeah, let's get into it. So firstly, we have one Guildford the Legend. Uh, I've had this card for quite a long time, I always... Uh, I don't know why, I, I can't remember if it was in my previous warrior deck. Maybe I didn't know where it was, but I have had this card for a really long time. Uh, it's even a bit damaged, but you know, that's what happens when you keep taking it to school when you're young without any card sleeves or anything. Uh, so if it wasn't in the last deck, I do really like this card, so I'm going to put this in this deck. Uh, it's effect doesn't really matter, it can't be special summoned, and when you do summon it, it you can equip as many equip spell cards from your graveyard to a monster, so I'm not using any quick spell cards, I'm just using it because I just think it's a really good warrior, and the pic I, think that, I think the art on it um, is actually pretty amazing as well, and this one is ultra rare. Uh, so one Guildford the Legend, then we have one Guildford the Lightning. Uh, again, I just think, you know, both of these cards are really well, like, the art is really good, and, um, I just think they're good cards in general with high attack. Uh, this card's effect is you can tribute, if you tribute summon three monsters, uh, and, uh, and summon this card, you can destroy all monsters your opponent controls, and, uh, sorry, uh, Guild for the Legend has 2600 attack, and Lightning has 2800 attack, so, that's pretty high attack for Warriors. Uh, thirdly, we have Elemental Hero Blade Edge, this... The first structure deck I got was an uh, Elemental Hero deck, and this is the Elemental Hero Blade Edge from that. Uh, I just, it's probably my second favorite card after Millennium Shield. Um, again, a really cool looking card. Uh, the, the thing I like about Warriors is playing Warriors is feels so good because the art of the Warriors uh, I just think is amazing. Um, plus, I've always liked Blade Edge because of the pacing damage. Uh, with cards, you know, people uh, with cards having low defense could do quite a lot of damage, even though your opponent's cards are in defense position. Uh, so these three are like our big warriors. Um, next, we have Swift Guy the Face Knight. I've always been a fan of Guy the Face Knight. Uh, I'm not playing the normal one, uh, just I prefer the effect monster one because uh, its effect is that if it is the only card in your hand, you can normal summon it without tributing. I think I come, uh, come in handy if you top deck it or something. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cool card as well. Then, you gotta get that Millennium Shield in there, my favourite card in the whole game. I just, it's just so fun tributing and saying this and your opponent attacks it, 3000 defence. For a 5 star, I think that's amazing. Uh, it's always fun to play Millennium Shield. Uh, that's it for the big monsters. Next we have Photon Thrasher. Uh, can't be normal, doesn't be summoned or set, must be special summoned. Uh, while you control no monsters, and if you control monsters it can't attack, but 2100 for a 4 star. If you do, like... If you want to be setting your back row and getting ready for if your opponent does do something, this is a nice card to have on the field and you 2100 attack, it's easy to, uh, easy to attack your opponent. Uh, so that's why you play Photon Thrasher. Uh, plus, if you control a monster, you can special summon this and normal summon another monster. Uh, maybe overlay for a card in your extra deck. Um, next we have Evocator Chevalier. I don't, I've never understood how to say his name. Again, the art for this card I think is really cool. Uh, this is super rare. Um, it's Warrior Gemini. Uh, when you Gemini summon it, you can send one face of a card you control to the graveyard, uh, destroy one card in the field, which you're not going to be using uh, unless you want to um, modify the deck and add equip spell cards, which you can. Um, but I'm not. I just play this card because of the 1,900 attack, which is, again, a cool uh, attack for a level 4 monster. But the R again is really cool, he's just got fire in his hand, uh, nice warrior card to play. Uh, another addition to the deck, we have got Blade Bouncer. I was just looking through some warrior cards and I saw this card and I thought the effect was really cool on a 1800 attack. Um, once per turn, if it attacks a monster, your opponent could at the end of the damage step, you can discard one card, it can attack again. Uh, it can attack your opponent again in the same battle phase, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if your opponent has both monsters which have uh, less than 1,800 attack or defense, you can just attack them twice. Or if you attack your opponent's monster, um, I believe it says you can attack an opponent's monster once again. Yeah, exactly. So you can destroy two monsters. 
uh, cool card, warrior. Uh, we have gear three, the iron knight. Uh, when an equipped card is equipped to this card, destroy the equipped card. Pretty use like. I don't know why you use the effect, but uh, it's just in case maybe your opponent's playing a card that equips to this, it gets destroyed. But again, I play because of the 1,800 attack. Warriors I'm playing are usually due to the high attack. Uh, and again, I think he's always look really cool. Uh, another addition to the deck is DDD Warrior Lady. I was, re uh, I was just looking through some Warriors, and firstly, this is from... Uh, I can't remember what the pack is called now, but it's the one with like the really cool... Uh, I think it's Duel of Saga. Really cool... Um, super rare, uh, ultra rare looking uh, and after damage calculation with this card battles an opponent's monster you can banish that monster also banish this card again you know maybe if your opponent needs a monster in the graveyard or something uh, after it's destroyed you can attack it and banish it so they can't use it and it's just a good card in general 1600 defense next we have command knight uh, added to my previous deck I've always used command knight in like every single one of my warrior decks because uh, I'll just read his effect. While at least one other monster exists on your side of the field, your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target. So if you have other monsters, you can't attack this. Uh, secondly, it increases the attack of all warrior monsters you control by 400. That's pretty good. Blade Edge to 3000. Guild for the Lightning to 3200 attack. And uh, your opponent has to attack them. So they've got the more attack. They can't attack this because you control them the monster. So it's really good for staying on the field and 1,900 defense for if you don't have any monsters anyway. Uh, two more running captain. When it's summoned, you can special summon a level four or warrior monster from your hand. Uh, nice to get monsters in the field, and with other cards that we play, they're most likely going to stay in the field, and it's going to help you tribute summon. Uh, Destiny or defender and clayman, good for just stalling. Uh, mostly with defender because of two thousand seven hundred defense, but also uh, clayman with two thousand defense. Uh, defender's effect is in your opponent's standby phase. They can draw one card. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but if it you know if it comes to you, you can just tribute it to uh, summon another monster if your opponent cho chooses not to destroy this. Uh, next, I also found this card. I think it's pretty old as well. Called Ghost Gardener. <laughs> pretty weird name. Uh, it's also a warrior. Thousand nine hundred defense, zero attack. Uh, when you face a monster you control is selected for an attack target, you can change the attacker to this. And the reason for that is when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one phase of monster your opponent controls and it loses a thousand attack to the end phase. I think it's a pretty good effect you can use if your opponent has got multiple monsters and they're going to use their weak monster first. You can lower the attack of another monster. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a thousand attack is quite a lot on some monsters. Uh, now for the defensive cards, we have Stronghold Guardian, which I've used in the other deck as well. Uh... You can, if a defense monster you control is attacked, you can discard this card and it gains 1,500 defense until the end phase. That's quite a lot. If you look at some of the monster's defense, like 1,900 or 2,000, 2,700, just increase their defense by quite a lot. 1,500 until the end phase, so that can, again, last you another turn. Uh, two non-warriors, which I chose to add, is just to make the deck more... Uh, just so you can, the deck can survive more in a game. Uh, Marshmallow, if it's attacked and flip face up, your opponent takes a thousand damage, I believe. Uh, yeah, during damage calculation, if it's face down. And uh, Super so Samurai, both of these can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, nice to keep on the field. If your opponent can't pop it with the card effect, then you're pretty much good. Uh, in They're pretty much good in defense position. You won't be losing any life points or anything. Last monster, Gores. I know it's a fiend, but come on, we can all see in the picture that looks like a warrior. I've, I've always thought of Gores as a warrior. He does look really cool. The eye, the, his eye is really cool. This is gold rare. Um, if you guys don't know Gores' effect, if you attack directly, you can special summon this after you've taken the damage. And the damage you take, you can summon a token, and uh, the token has that much attack and defense, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And then the effect damage. Uh, if it was effect damage, then your opponent takes equal. If it was battle damage, then you can special summon the token. Uh, 2700 attack, it's pretty good. Uh, it's just nice backup card to have in your hand if you if you end up having no monsters. If your opponent attacks you with 3k or something, you can summon this. Special summon another token with 3000 attack and defense. Nice to have on the field. Uh, but yeah, he's a worry in my opinion. I don't care what whatever Konami says or whatever. Uh, that is it for the monsters. Spells, we have reinforcements to the army, that's pretty much obvious, uh, you, got, you play warriors, and 
during the video I just realized that I actually do play Moon Mirror Shield. Uh, so we do actually play uh, equipped cards, so that can actually come in handy with uh, Guildford the Legend, I believe, or not, because... Yeah, never mind. It doesn't work with Guildford the Legend, we can use it with uh, Evocator Chevalier. Um, in, case you, in case you guys don't know, this is that's this card. Uh, you can send one face of your card you control to the graveyard, destroy one card your opponent controls. Uh, so that's good for if you're playing it with that. But Moon Mirror Shield, like I used in my Greykeeper deck, is just a really good card. You're using big monsters, but also the small monsters can be used as big monsters because, in case you guys don't know what Moon Mirror Shield is, when you attack your opponent, the attack the monster that you're attacking, your monster's attack becomes 100 more than the highest attack or defense, whichever one the monster has got. Um, so it's really good for destroying your opponent's monsters, and that's why you play two. I found my other one in case you're wondering why it wasn't in the previous video. Uh, one rare, one normal. Uh, Soul Charge. Well, if you lose all your monsters, Soul Charge would be a nice way to get your monsters back. Uh, nice special summoning, and yeah, it's just. I think Soul Charge is good in this deck. You're not going to be playing like three called the Haunters or anything, so just use Soul Charge to get as many monsters as you want. Uh, Souls of Revealing Light. Again, you want to. Just, just one, not three. We're just going to be stalling to get your monster on the field, tribute, summon. Or if you want to XYZ summon for your extra deck, you can do that. But it's just, you know, building up your forces and whatever, and then you can attack your opponent and win the game. Uh, Monarch Stormforth and two Soul Exchange. That's, you know, to assist you with uh, tribute summoning your big warriors like Guildford the Lightning, Guildford the Legend, and Blade Edge. Um, and it's a good way of knowing your opponent anyway. On Say you have two cards. Uh, already on your side of the field, you can activate this, summon Guildford the Lightning, destroy all monsters your opponent controlled anyway. Pretty good. Uh, one Dark Hole, like I say, you got to play Dark Hole in every deck. If it, if Dark Hole was to 2, or when it was to 2, I used to play 2 anyway. Uh, and yeah, you got to play... I, th I think you should be Dark Hole in every deck anyway. Uh, that's it for the spells. Traps, we have 2 Strikes and a Solemn. That's pretty much just to stop your opponent from doing stuff, and then you can kill them. Uh... Three Mirror Force, two Quaking, Storming, again to stop your opponent from doing what they want, uh, leaving their field open for you to attack, uh, Quaking, uh, good for the pacing damage uh, from Blade Edge, and uh, yeah, it just, I guess you could say in the anti meta deck, but you know, it doesn't have Necro Rally or anything, but again, it's just to stop your opponent from doing things. Lose one turn to stop your opponent from doing things if they special summon, you're not going to be special summoning, you know, I think Soul Charge is the only way you're going to special summon. Uh, and if you have lose one turn, then maybe then you probably shouldn't. Or if you activate Soul Charge before you activate lose one turn, that's even better. Um, in case you don't guys don't know what lose one turn is, if your opponent special summon a monster, the you the effect of that monster is negated and it's put to defense position. Uh, that's good for again stopping your opponent. Metal Reflex Slime, good defense, three K defense. In fact, uh, like Manelli Shield number two. Um, you activate this special summon in defense. 3k defense, stall, get your monsters in the field, and uh, yeah. Uh, if you have Command Knight, you can get Command Knight on the field, you control another monster. It does say as an effect monster, so your opponent has to attack this, and if it can't destroy it, then too bad for them. You could just get in monsters in the field, tribute summon. And then my favorite trap card in the game, I believe, Ordeal of a Traveler. <laughs> Such a fun card. Uh, Ordeal of a Traveler is your opponent attacks, so you can activate this. Uh, your opponent chooses a card from your hand, or you can choose one. I oh, might as well read it out. You can only activate this card. This card's effect when your opponent declares an attack. Your opponent selects a random card in your hand, so any card in your hand. Uh, calls a type monster spell or trap. If your opponent calls it wrong, the attacking monster is turned to the hand. That's so fun. I used to play three, but I think one is better because say you have one card. Your opponent pretty much keeps guessing it. But say you have three, four cards in your hand. You're stalling with swords or whatever. You've got that down after your opponent's attacks. You've got four cards in your hand. Your opponent chooses one. If they get it wrong, their monster goes to the hand. If it took them a long time to get the monster on the field, well, that's too bad for them because it's gone back to the hand. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the main deck. Uh, there's only a main deck. Uh, no extra deck. You can... Uh, for this deck, you can make your own extra deck, whichever level 4s you want, or 2 level 8s, because we do play Lightning and the Legend. Uh, but yeah, extra deck you can make yourself. Uh, this was my 2017 December Warrior deck profile, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, it is 41 cards, but Millennium Shield, I just use it because I just think it's a really fun card, you can take that out to make it 40 cards. Uh, 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want me to make any other deck profile, then just leave it in the comments below. Uh, but other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.